Hello, and welcome to the Jacinto 7 Processor's overview of key SOC subsystems and features for automotive applications. In this presentation, I will outline the key architectural features and benefits of the Texas Instruments Next Generation family of automotive processors. This slide lists the different aspects of the Jacinto 7 SOC, which I will cover in the subsequent sections. The characteristics discussed here are generally applicable to all derivative processors in the Jacinto 7 family. However, please refer to the specific processor data manual to understand which features apply to your device. The Jacinto 7 processors provide a very high level of application and compute performance while also offering a wide set of integrated systems and peripherals which are key to automotive applications. Jacinto 7 processors are built upon the 16 FinFET process technology which provides a mature platform most suitable for the quality levels necessary in automotive while also achieving a good balance of performance versus power, which is critical to the automotive thermal environment. In addition to traditional processing cores, these devices include multiple differentiated hardware accelerators, especially in the areas of imaging, networking, and deep learning, which can significantly boost overall system performance and also offload system costs. The architecture was designed from the bottom up to achieve high performance coherent data and resource sharing while at the same time addressing key security and safety requirements. These goals are often in opposition to one another, so such features must be integral to the architecture. One such key feature is the inclusion of an integrated safety microcontroller unit, or safety MCU, which effectively acts as a chip within a chip. This enables the possibility to eliminate the need for an external MCU while still meeting safety goals and managing system power constraints. This reduces system costs and enables more flexibility for data sharing within the system. The Jacinto 7 platform provides scalability for both system hardware and software by utilizing a common architecture and peripheral set across processor derivatives. This allows for easy porting and reuse of software across the family to fully span the needs across a range of application spaces while maximizing software investment. The Jacinto 7 processors provide a mix of heterogeneous processing cores. The fundamental benefit of the heterogeneous processing approach is to use the appropriate core for the appropriate task or workload. This results in overall higher system performance for a given power and thermal budget, and also allows flexibility to use appropriate and or available software depending on the task. The processing cores available on Jacinto 7 include the microprocessing unit which is a dual ARM Cortex A72 cluster that operates at frequencies up to 2 GHz and also is cache coherent with a shared L3 system cache. The microcontroller units consist of two ARM Cortex R5F dual clusters on the main domain and one R5F dual cluster in the safety MCU domain. Each pair can operate in lockstep mode or as separate CPUs in split mode at frequencies up to 1 GHz. The digital signal processors available on Jacinto 7 include the TI Next Generation C71X core, which is a 64-bit dual-path CPU supporting both 64-bit scalar operations and 512-bit vector operations, resulting in up to 30 times the performance of the previous generation TI DSP, depending on the algorithms executed. The C71X includes a powerful Math Multiply Accelerator, or MMA, which provides highly parallel deep learning instructions. The C71X and MMA are also cache coherent with the shared L3 system cache. Up to two TIC66X DSP cores are also available, running up to 1.3 GHz and enabling reuse of optimized DSP code from previous TI SOC platforms. Finally, Jacinto 7 includes a graphics processing unit, which is a PowerVR 8XE series GPU from Imagination Technologies supporting roughly 100 G-flops and multiple virtualization and security features in hardware, which are highly useful in automotive. The Jacinto 7 processors provide a unique set of application-specific hardware accelerators. Although highly configurable in software, these hardware-based accelerators provide much higher effective performance for key system functions versus implementing those same functions on soft processors. They also provide the benefit of offloading tasks from the main processors and achieving higher system performance in a lower power and thermal budget, thus also reducing system costs. 
Several of the key hardware accelerators applicable to automotive applications include the Capture, Vision, and Deep Learning Acceleration, the Display Subsystem, and the Video Accelerators. The Capture and Vision System includes eight lanes of CSI2 camera input, the Vision Preprocessing Accelerator, or VPAC, and the Depth and Motion Perception Accelerator, or DMPAC. Together, this signal chain implements a very flexible and high-quality imaging pipe, a high-resolution stereo depth engine, and a unique dense optical flow engine. This vision system leverages over 10 years of TI experience in Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, or ADAS systems, to implement a vision processing chain which is specifically tuned to improve effective performance of CNN-based deep learning vision systems. The deep learning acceleration implemented by the MMA is designed with a tiered memory system to optimize the external memory throughput and minimize the required number of external DDR devices. This reduces both system cost and power, which are key in the automotive thermal environment. On the display side, the Jacinto 7 display subsystem provides multiple output protocols, including MIPI DSI and embedded display port, and also implementing isolation and safety features, allowing for shared screen regions with mixed levels of criticality. Finally, the SOC includes video encoder and decoders, supporting multiple streams of multiple formats, and also including isolation features for secure playback. The Jacinto 7 processors implement a hierarchical approach to device configuration and management. A small microcontroller called the Device Management and Security Controller, or DMSC, is responsible for all security configuration and much of the common resource configuration of the Jacinto 7 SoC. Instrumental to the overall system performance of the Jacinto 7 processors are the memory architecture and the movement of data across the SoC. It is important to keep data flowing to all the various cores so that the majority of their time is spent processing and not stalling. Jacinto 7 supports a multi-level memory system including L1 and L2 caches for most primary CPUs but also providing a large shared level 3 system cache which is cache coherent and available to the various cores as RAM or cache. Cache coherence is provided by the multi-core shared memory controller or MESMIC. The MESMIC also provides access to external DDR memory supporting LPDDR4 and LPDDR4X protocols up to DDR3733 rate, and including inline ECC, which minimizes system cost in safety systems. Multiple DMA engines are leveraged to feed data to and from the various cores, and the MCU safety domain includes its own DMA to maintain independence from the main domain. Finally, all the cores and peripherals access the memories through a high-performance tiered bus fabric which supports flexible arbitration and quality of service features to ensure real-time, and also enables efficient access to the virtualization translation services on the device. The Jacinto 7 processors are designed for automotive safety. Aside from the safety MCU domain, which was previously mentioned, additional hardware diagnostics and monitoring features are present in the main domain. In fact, the SoC architecture was designed from the bottom up with safety in mind. So these safety-related features permeate the entire architecture. Jacinto 7 includes multiple features across the device which can facilitate system design for safety in automotive. The Safety MCU provides an isolated system which can run ASLD level tasks independent of the state of the main domain. Voltage clock and reset isolation and the inclusion of a full set of peripherals and local DMA enable this. Data sharing between domains is protected with timeout gaskets such that corruption of the main domain cannot cause a hang in the safety MCU domain. The MCU R5 within the safety domain can also execute from external flash with inline ECC and on-the-fly authentication in hardware, which allows massive extension of the MCU code space while maintaining both safety and security. Many diagnostic and bottom-up safety features are included in both main and safety MCU domains. These include voltage, temperature, and clock monitoring, dedicated DMAs for CRC calculation, and built-in hardware self-test for many of the IPs, including at boot time for safety MCU. ECC is implemented on all critical memories, and all CPU cores include windowed watchdogs. This list is only a subset of the full safety features available on the Jacinto 7 SoC. Many of the peripherals and accelerators also include relevant isolation and safety features. The Jacinto 7 processors implement multiple hardware features to facilitate virtualization. 
which is one popular method to achieve isolation between software tasks. Virtualization hardware involves a combination of central address management and also specific isolation features embedded in IPs such as PCIe, GPU, and the display subsystem. Although some of these features are centralized, almost all core and IP on the device can take advantage of using virtualized data space directly or via the DMA. The primary cores on Jacinto 7 implement memory management units or MMUs with two stages which facilitate virtualization with multiple OS instances. The SOC also supports IO MMUs which allow higher performance virtualization of IO peripherals with minimal hypervisor interaction. The SOC supports not only the standard ARM v3 system MMU which allows standard software use but also allows for concurrent use of a TI IO MMU which allows more deterministic address translation to virtualize real-time peripherals such as display and capture. In addition to these features, several of the major peripherals and cores have native virtualization features in hardware. This includes standard SRIOV support on PCIe, DSS resource isolation, and an embedded resource manager within the GPU to, to support multiple virtualized drivers with mixed criticality while avoiding blocking of critical rendering tasks. The Jacinto 7 processors integrate many key features centered around security. From the DMSC acting as an isolated security master, to hardware crypto engines in both the main and safety MCU domains, to multiple embedded security features on various IPs across the device. Finally, to full endpoint firewall protection across the device for memories and peripherals. Security is truly an integral part of the overall SOC architecture. As automotive systems become more and more connected and safety requirements are going up, security is more vital than ever in the automotive application space. This slide provides a short summary list of some of the various security related features available on the Jacinto 7 device. Power management is critical in automotive applications to stay within the thermal envelope of the system. Jacinto 7 implements multiple features and strategies to control power both statically and dynamically. The DMSC provides central control for the various power modes of the device. However, from clock gating to power domains and thermal monitors, the relevant features to control power really permeate the entire device architecture. This slide provides a short summary list of some of the various power management related features available on the Jacinto 7 device. The Jacinto 7 processors implement a rich set of networking subsystems and peripherals which are valuable for automotive gateway systems and for high-performance chip-to-chip data and message sharing. These subsystems include Ethernet switches, PCIe controllers, CANFD controllers, USB and Media LB controllers. The main domain Ethernet switch provides up to 8 1 gigabit ports supporting multiple protocols. There is also a separate switch on the safety MCU providing a single 1 gigabit port. The main switch includes hardware support for classification and traffic shaping at full line rate as well as reset isolation, allowing packet forwarding to function even while the main domain undergoes a warm reset. These features can effectively replace an external switch, thereby reducing system costs. Jacinto 7 supports up to four PCIe links with configurable width and each with independent root complex or endpoint mode support. SRIOV virtualization support and port-to-port -port direct data transfer allow the PCIe controllers on the SOC to act as a switch optimizing system costs by eliminating the need for an expensive external PCIe switch. Up to 16 or more CANFD interfaces are provided depending on the device derivative. Two of these are located on the safety MCU domain. The two USB controllers support up to USB 3.0 rate with host or function mode and also support an embedded switch to provide Type-C connector reversal without incurring external switch costs. Finally, a media LB interface is included to connect to an external MOST controller supporting up to MOST 150 rates. The Jacinto 7 processors provide a wide range of options for storage, from NORFLASH over Octal or Hyperbus interfaces, to large managed NAND options including EMMC and UFS or solid state options over PCIe. The main domain includes one 8-bit EMMC controller and up to two 4-bit SD interfaces for removable storage. It also includes a UFS 2.1 universal flash storage interface with optional embedded encryption. 
The PCIe interfaces can also be used in root complex mode for access to solid state storage devices. A general purpose memory controller is also provided for raw NAND or generic parallel interface support with limited addressing. The safety MCU domain includes multiple flash controller interfaces. The controllers allow support for a wide range of flashes from different vendors including Micron Accela 8-bit flashes and Cypress HyperFlash 8-bit flashes, both operating up to 333 megabytes per second for linear reads. As mentioned previously, these flashes can be accessed with optional inline ECC and authentication, allowing for in-place execution from the Safety MCU R5 while maintaining both safety and security. The Jacinto 7 processors provide a wide array of serial ports for communication with various external peripheral devices. These include multiple UARTs, SPIs, I2C, and MIPI compliant I3C ports on both the main and safety MCU domains, as well as multi-channel audio serial ports on the main domain. Most of these interfaces are also multiplexed with general purpose I.O. within each domain. In this overview, we've outlined the various processing cores, hardware accelerators, and peripherals available on the Jacinto 7 devices, as well as the architectural features which are critical to automotive systems, including memories, safety, security, power management, networking, and general peripheral support. For more detailed information on these topics, look for additional Jacinto 7 training material on TI.com. For details regarding support of these features on specific device part numbers, please consult the appropriate device data manual and the corresponding technical reference manual on ti.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this training. For more information, refer to the links shown. For questions about this training, go to the processor forums at ede.ti.com.